The most amazing survival tales are created when chance and the will to live are combined. Survival tales astound us and reveal that despite our frailties, we each have a little fighter waiting to step up and take charge when the going gets tough. Welcome back to another video in which we will be with you to show you the lucky people who survived. So don't go anywhere and watch the video till the end. Also, if this is your first time visiting Mr. Weird Facts, click the subscribe button and keep yourself updated. Frank Salak. Let's learn more about these incredible survival tales, which demonstrate incredible amounts of luck. If luck were a superpower, this Croatian music instructor most certainly possesses it. He avoided being killed in two bus accidents, three flaming cars, a train derailment, and a plane crash, becoming both the luckiest and unluckiest man alive as a result. You might have believed Selek's luck had run out after seven attempts to avoid death. But you'd be mistaken. He bought his first lottery ticket ever, and he ended up winning the equivalent of just over $1 million at the time. He decided to donate everything to family and friends, claiming that all he needed to be happy was his wife and his health. Sutomu Yamaguchi This man miraculously survived two nuclear explosions at Ground Zero and survived to tell the tale. He was in Hiroshima on a business trip on August 6, 1945, when it was destroyed by an American bomber. Three kilometers away, he witnessed a spectacular flash of light in the skies it detonated. In addition to being knocked over, he also sustained severe burns, air drum, and temporary blindness. He then traveled 180 miles to the west to return home, where he received medical attention for his injuries. The second atomic bomb, dropped by the US on Japan, then hit his hometown of Nagasaki. He is the only bombing survivor recognized by the Japanese government. Even though the bombings killed 200,000 people, nevertheless, he made it to age 93. Later in life, he did begin to experience radiation-related illnesses, though. Paul Templer This man worked as a safari guide during his 20s. That resulted in him spending the afternoon in safari. He was taking customers down Zimbabwe's Zambezi River on that particular day. A monster hippo the size of a Range Rover, about 4.5 meters long and 1.5 meters high, threw one of his friends out of his canoe. A hippo cruised towards him, rippling the water like a torpedo cutting through it as he paddled towards his friend. All of a sudden, as he turned to grab his friend, everything turned dark, slimy, and foul-smelling. He was submerged, but unlike his legs, the area around his waist was dry. He was head first and up to his waist in the hippo's mouth, as it turned out. He twisted until the hippo's jaws opened wide enough for him to get away. But since hippos are notoriously ruthless and are the animal that kills the most people in Africa, it struck again and dragged him back under the water. After what seemed like an eternity, the hippo suddenly lurched for the surface and spat him out. But the hippo quickly ate Paul once more, this time feet first, so perhaps it was because his feet looked more appetizing. Paul punched and scratched at the area, but eventually realized that his flesh wouldn't rip as much if he held the hippo's canine tusks that were piercing him. That's what most likely caused the hippo to release him. It became impatient with the fact that he wasn't being torn into a hundred different pieces. Without any painkillers, Paul traveled for eight agonizing hours to reach a hospital. He acknowledged that the pain was so bad that he thought about killing himself. In the end, he had 40 puncture wounds on his body. His lung was visible in one of the deep wounds, and his arm had been reduced to a pulp. He overcame the ordeal and wrote a book about it. Harrison Oki Some would contend that a bad day at sea is still preferable to a good day at work. Harrison Okin, however, doesn't quite concur. Okin was employed as a cook on a tugboat traveling through rough waters off the coast of Nigeria in May 2013. The ship started to sink when an unexpected wave slammed into it. In the engineer's office, he finally located a tiny pocket of air. However, the boat had come to a stop 30 meters below the surface of the water, upside down. He began to lose hope as he encountered an alarming number of deadly dangers and was made to learn that his crewmates had been eaten by sharks. Three days later, a human hand was seen waving at a group of salvage divers through an opening in the shipwreck while they were searching for bodies. Naturally, after being posted online, his miraculous rescue became very popular. Anatoly Petrovich Bogorsky The incident in which the Russian scientist Anatoly Petrovich Bogorsky unintentionally placed his head in front of charged particles that were moving at nearly the speed of light made him famous. The safety mechanisms failed while he was inspecting a broken piece of equipment at the U-70 synchrotron particle accelerator. 
even though I doubted was his intention, going through with it, and surviving, could be seen as a contribution to science in and of itself. He claimed to have seen a flash as bright as a million suns, but not to have felt any pain. Nevertheless, over the course of the following few days, his face swelled beyond all recognition and began to peel off, exposing the path the proton beam had burned through it. Despite receiving a radiation dose far over what would have been fatal, he lived and even finished his doctorate. The bizarre part, believe it or not, comes right now. Burgersky's face has aged on the right side, whereas the left side appears to have been frozen in time 22 years ago. When you look at him now, Wenceslao Mogel, one of the most well-known leaders of the Mexican Revolution, he even played himself in Hollywood movies. Following his defeat by the Constitutionalists in 1915, Northern rebels were subjected to harsh punishments by regional de facto armies. A man by the name of Wenceslao Mogel was one of his supporters. Without a hearing, a firing squad gave him the death penalty. Mogel, however, had one more trick up his sleeve. He was extremely skilled at avoiding death. Mogel survived despite receiving ten gunshot wounds, one of which was to the head. Following his executioner's departure, he miraculously left the area and made his way to safety where he sought medical attention and made a full recovery. Moro Prosperi Not for nothing is the Marathon de Sables, regarded as the most difficult athletic competition ever. Just imagining the six days 155-mile run through the Sahara Desert leaves us, mere mortals, gasping for air. Moro Prosperi believed it was worthwhile to try in 1994. He lost his bearings midway through the event due to a storm, and he ultimately ran hundreds of kilometers into Algeria. He ran out of food and water after 36 hours and began subsisting on a diet of bats, sporadic desert snakes, and his urine. He attempted to slit his wrists while stranded in one of the most hostile locations on Earth. However, the dehydration made his blood thicken and clot the wound. However, he interpreted this as a warning to carry on living, and continued to cross the desert. On day 8, he found an oasis. The following morning, he ran into some shepherds who called for help. These are some incredible stories. I told you about some fortunate people who have witnessed death up close and yet have survived. That was all for today's video. Share your thoughts with us in the comment section. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to Mr. Weird Facts for more fascinating videos. I appreciate you taking the time to view this video. We'll see you in the upcoming video soon.